This is Calculus AB, section 2.4, page 2. All right, now we're going to kind of join the last two concepts that were I talked about on page 1 together right here. We are interested in finding the slope of a tangent line to a function at a given point. So I want you to consider the graph of a function, y equals f of x, on this interval from a to b. All right, and we are interested in finding the slope of a tangent line at point A. So let's go ahead and draw that tangent line at point A. And notice I'm drawing a line that's just going to skate right along the edge of that curve. And it hits that curve right where A hits that curve. And here's the tangent. at x equals a. All right, let's label a few things here. If we take this a up to where it hits the curve and line that over to the y-axis, that y value is f of a. And take this b, line that up to where it hits the curve. Take that over to the y-axis. That's f of b. All right, now, um, the coordinates then of this point a right here is a comma f of a, and the coordinates of b, b comma f of b. And again, we're interested in finding the slope of that tangent line. Well, we don't have two points on that line, so we cannot write the slope. What we can do, though, is to draw a secant line, and a secant line connects these two points here. There's a secant. And with this information, could you now find the slope of the secant line? Of course you can. Slope of a secant, change in y over change in x. So the y value here, f of b minus the y value here f of a all over b minus a. All right, now one more thing that I want to do is let's call this distance between a and b, let's give it some quantity, call it h, which means then that this b I could call a plus h. And coming down here then and making that substitution into this equation, f of b, well b we're now calling a plus h, so this is f of a plus h minus f of a all over b, which is a plus h minus a. And we see this denominator simplify down to be f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. So there's the slope of the secant line. But we were interested in slope of the tangent line. Okay, don't draw this on your paper because it's going to get very, very messy. But watch up here. What happens if I um, were to make this h smaller. So instead of this b or this a plus h being way out here, what if my b or my a plus h was right here? Then my secant line would be right there. Oh, 
We'll look at the slope of the secant compared to the slope of the tangent originally. They're both positive. That's pretty much all we could say about them. But now, look if I move this point B in closer to point A. Then, look at that slope of the secant line here. Well, it's a little bit closer to the slope of the tangent line. What if I moved that B closer to A still? And it's real tiny in here. But there's that secant. And you see it's pretty dark. The slope of that secant line now, very close to the slope of the tangent line. Well, how close can I let this point A go to? Or this point A plus H? Can we let H equal zero? No, we can't let A equal zero, but we, excuse me, we can't let H equal zero but we could let h get very, very close to zero, which means then that the, we can take a limit as h approaches zero of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h. That is exactly the slope of the tangent line. and it's the slope of a tangent at a specific point x equals a. Yes, you need to memorize this. All right, let's take a look at an example. Given y equals x squared minus 4x, I want you to find the slope of the tangent line when x is equal to 1. Here's the, exp the equation that will find you the slope of the tangent line right here. The limit is h approaches 0, f of a plus h, minus f of a all over h. So for this problem, find the slope of the tangent line when x equals 1. This is your a value. That's where you're trying to find the slope of the tangent. All right, slope of the tangent, let's just substitute into this expression right up here. This is the limit as h approaches 0, f of a plus h, so 1 plus h minus f of a, which is 1, all over h. And now we'll go ahead into this equation and evaluate f of 1 plus h. going to be a 1 plus h squared minus 4 times a 1 plus h minus f of 1. All over h. Expanding. That's 1 plus 2h plus h squared minus 4, minus 4h, minus, ooh, f of 1. So we're going to have to take 1 and plug it in here. That's 1 minus 4, that would be a negative 3, all over h. Simplifying, let's see, what do we see? One minus 4 is negative 3, and then this is plus a 3, so those constants all drop out. This 2h and that minus 4h is a negative 2h, and plus an h squared. Let me go back and line up those constants. That helps. So we have a 2h minus 4h. There's a negative 2h plus an h squared all over h. Divide an h out of everything, and that'll give us a negative 2 plus an h, 
Now we take the limit as h approaches 0, and we get negative 2. All right, what did that tell us? That told us right there that's the slope of the tangent line. when x equals 1.